which box is going to produce better results, Brinks or Loomis? Stay tuned and find out. Hello, and welcome back to TL Treasures. Got something a little different for you again today. We've got two boxes that we're going to hunt. We're going to hunt a Loomis box and a Brinks box. This is going to be box 19 and box 20. So we'll go ahead and pop the top on this one. See if we got any enders. As usual, we'll be looking for 30s, 40s, 50s, any buffaloes, maybe a V-nickel. Be looking for varieties, 2009s, whatever we come across. Everything in here is circulated. I don't see anything coming up on the end, but as we know, it's what's inside that counts. So we'll go ahead, bring you back in if we have a fine. Let's get on rolling. Our first find of the hunt, roll number three. We've got ourselves a 1946 Philadelphia. I'll go ahead, check to see if we have that DDR. And if we do, I'll be sure to let you know. Roll number four, it's gonna give us our first foreign find. We've got a 1986 Bermuda. We'll take it. Roll number five, and we've got a 1959 Denver. Roll number six, we've got another 1959. This one's gonna be a Philadelphia. It's pretty beat up. But roll seven has given us our third, 1959. And it's a Denver. Roll 10 is going to give us a 1953. Philadelphia. Roll 11. And we've got our oldest find of the box. We've got a 1940. And it's going to be a Philadelphia. Let's keep on rolling. Still on roll 11. And now we have an oldest find again, 1939, Philadelphia. I'll go ahead, I'll check to see if we got that DDO, and if I do, I'll be sure to let you know. Roll number 12, and we've got a 1954, and it's a Denver. Still on roll 12, and we've got another 1959, and it's a Denver. We'll set that with the other stack and keep on rolling. Still on roll 12, and we've got our first 2009 Denver. I always hold on to the 2009s, they are low mintages, and it's always good for me to get a Denver, especially being on the East Coast. Roll 16, and we've got ourselves a 1957. It's gonna be a Philadelphia. Roll 19, we have our second foreign find. We've got a 1999 Canadian. Roll 21, we've got ourselves a 1947. And it's a Philadelphia. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 22, we've got our second Canadian, third foreign overall, 1978. Still on roll 22, and we have another 1959. This makes five overall, and it's a Denver. Roll 24, and we've got a 1946 Philadelphia. As usual, I'll check for that DDR, and if I got it, I'll be sure to let you know. Roll 28, we've got our second 1939. It'd be nice if it's the Denver I'm looking for, and it's gonna be a Philadelphia. That's all right, I'll go ahead and I'll check that for the DDO and the DDR. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 29, and we've come across the 1956. And it's a Philadelphia. I've already gone ahead and checked to see if we had any doubling on the reverse, and we don't. Let's keep on rolling. Still on roll 29, and we've got our second 2009 Denver. More than happy to have it. I'll take that all day. Roll 30, and we have yet another 1959. And it's going to be a Denver. We'll add it to the stack. Roll 31, and we've got a 1957. 
Philadelphia. Still on roll 31, and I've come across this 1962, and usually when the rim's like this, I think it's just a misaligned die because the reverse is completely normal, but when I turn this one over, it's still slightly off-center, so I'm going to say we have an off-center coin here. We'll set that aside and keep on rolling. Roll 32, and we've come across the 1952, Philadelphia. Roll 34, and we've come across the 1954, and it's a San Francisco. Like I always say, love those S mint marks. I'm going to go ahead and check this for the double die reverse, and if we have it, I'll be sure to let you know. Pretty sure I already have this one in the album, but this one could be a possible upgrade. Still on roll 34, we've got ourselves a 1952, and it's a Philadelphia. Roll 36, we have a 1953, it's got some black stuff on it, don't know what that is, but it's going to be a Denver. We'll take it. Roll 38 has given us a 1941. And it's going to be a San Francisco. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 41. We've come across another 1959. And it's a Denver. That's our seventh 1959 of the hunt. Still on roll 41. We have a Canadian 1989. It's our third Canadian out of this box. Fourth foreign of the hunt. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 43. We've got a 1946. Philadelphia. I'll go ahead and check this for the DDR. And like I usually tell you, we got it. I'll be sure to let you know. Roll 45. And because there's quite a bit of corrosion, it's hard to tell the date, but... We've got another 1959 here. And there is a mint mark. Looks like a Denver. We'll take it. Roll 46. We've got a 1941. And it's going to be a San Francisco. That's our second 41S of the hunt. We'll take that. Roll 48 has given us a 1957. Philadelphia. Still on roll 48, and we've got a 1940. And that's going to be a Philadelphia. We'll take it. All right, well, that's the end of the Loomis box. Let's go ahead and do a quick little recap before we get into the Brinks and see what we ended up with. We had four foreigns in total, three being Canadian and one being from Bermuda. We've got a stack here that may or may not be possible upgrades. We'll have to wait and see. We had that 1962 that was ever so slightly off-center. Now our oldest fun was 1939. We had two of those. We had two 1940s. One 1941. Three 1946. One 1947. Two 1952s. One 1953. Two 1954s. One 1955, which was a Denver. Too bad we didn't get the Philadelphia. One 1956, three 1957s, and eight 1959s. We also had two of the 2009s, both being Denver, and I always hold on to those because they are low mintages. Now, we didn't end up with any silver. We didn't end up with any buffaloes, but I'd say with 35 finds, this was a solid box to hunt. Now, let's go ahead. We'll break that Brinks box open and see what they can do. All right, we're back with our Brinks box, box number 20. Let's go ahead, make sure we've got circulated coins. And it looks like we do, so we're good to go. You know the drill. We'll bring you back in if and when we have a fine. Now let's get on rolling. Roll number one, we've got our first fine, and it's a foreign fine. Canadian, 1988. Let's keep on rolling. Roll five, and our second find of the hunt's gonna be another Canadian. It's gonna be a 1983. Roll six, and we finally got a Jefferson find. We've got a 1953. It's gonna be a Philadelphia. 
Still on roll six, and we've got a 1957. And it's a Philadelphia. We'll take it. Roll number eight, and we finally struck silver. We've got a 1944. And it's a Philadelphia. If anybody's curious about what that is back here, we've got two cats that always love to wrestle and play with each other first thing in the morning. So that's what that that's what's going on there. Let's get back to the silver. Philadelphia, 1944. We'll take that all day. Roll 18. And we've got our oldest find of the Brinks box. We've got a 1940. And it's a Philadelphia. Roll 20. And we've got ourselves another 1940. And another Philadelphia. We'll take it. Halfway through the box, roll 25. We've got a 1949. Is it going to be the San Francisco semi-key date? No, it's just a Philly. Either way, we'll take it. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 26. We've got a 1953. And it's a Philadelphia. Roll 28. And we've got a 1946. Philadelphia. I've already gone ahead and checked this one for the DDR and it wasn't there. So we'll keep going. Roll 29, and we have a 2009 Denver. That's our first out of this box, but our third in this hunt overall. I'm actually hoping uh, my buddy there, New England Coin Royal Hunting, has come across his, because I'm starting to feel a little bit guilty about getting so many. So let's keep on rolling. Roll 30, and we've got a 1954 Denver. We'll take it. Roll 31. And we've got our oldest find of this box. It's a 1939 Philadelphia. So we'll go ahead. We'll check for the DDR. We'll check for the DDO. And as usual, if I find it, I'll be sure to let you know. Rule 32. We've got ourselves another war nickel. We've got a 1943. And it's a San Francisco. Not bad. Let's go ahead, pop that under the scope. See if we can see an overdate. All right, we're under the scope with that San Francisco silver. Take a look at the overdate. I don't see it. Quite a bit of damage on there. No overdate, though. Still a good find. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 32. We've got ourselves a 1940. And it's going to be a Philadelphia. Roll 34. That's a little beat up, but we got ourselves a 1957. Philadelphia. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 36. We've got a beautiful first year Jefferson Nickel here. We've got a 1938. Philadelphia. Pretty sure this is going to be an upgrade to the book. I'll go ahead, check for that DDO, and if we got it, I'll be sure to bring you back in and let you know. Also on roll 36, we've got a 1946. Philadelphia. Roll 37. We've got our first 2009 Philadelphia. We'll go ahead, add that next to the Denvers, and keep on rolling. Roll 38, we have ourselves a 1947. And it's gonna be a Philadelphia. Roll 39 has given us a 1954. Denver, we'll take it. Roll 41, and we've got a 1952. And it's a Denver. Still on roll 41. We've got a 1955. And it's a Denver. We can go ahead, check that for that D over S. All right, so here's that 55 Denver looking for a D over S. I don't see it. Neither way. Too bad it wasn't the Philly. We'd have that semi key date. Let's keep on rolling. Roll 43 is giving us a 1954. Denver. Roll 44. We've got a 1939. Philadelphia. Still on roll 44. And we've come across the 1946. Philadelphia. Roll 45. We've got ourselves a 1959. 
think that's the first 59 of the Brinks box, and it's a Denver. Roll 46, we've got our second 1959 of the Brinks box, and it's a Denver. Roll 47, we've got a 1946, Philadelphia. Roll 48, got a bit of corrosion at the top here, but we can still see the date pretty good. We've got a 1941, and it's going to be a Philadelphia. Roll 49. You can barely see it, but we've got a 1940. Oh, and there's so much corrosion on the reverse here. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull the mint mark. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. We'll come back to it and see if we have anything. All right, we're back with that 1940. And I tried cleaning it a little bit. That corrosion is too far gone. I'm really not into scrubbing coins clean and doing that. I mean, I will give a quick little wipe off, but... I don't think we're going to see if there's a mint mark on it, but still, we've got the 1940 here. We'll take it. Roll 49, and we've got a 1959. And it's going to be a Denver. With one roll to go, let's see if we can score something good. All right, well, that's the end of our Brinks box. Let's do a quick little recap and see what Brinks had to offer. We had two foreign finds, both being Canadian. We've got a small stack here that may or may not be possible upgrades. Our oldest fine from Brinks was in 1938, and it was our oldest fine overall. We had two 1939s, four 1940s, one 1941. We ended up with two silver nickels, one a 1943 San Francisco and a 1944 Philadelphia. I'll take those all day long. Love finding silver. 1946 we had four, one 1947, one 1949, one 1952, two 1953s, three 1954s, one 1955, two 1957s, and three 1959s, as well as two 2009s, one Philadelphia, and one Denver. So our total fines for this hunt was 32. Now even though we had three less fines than the Loomis box, I'm going to say finding those two silvers totally makes Brinks the winner. Let me know your opinion. Would you rather have three more fines or have those two silvers? I'll take those two silvers any day. Our grand total between two boxes was 67 fines. So let's go ahead, we'll compare all of our finds to the albums and see if we have any upgrades. Maybe a filler, but with only nine slots to fill, I don't think so. Let's check it out. All right, we've compared our finds to the album. We had nothing from 1996 and up. We didn't have any fillers, but with nine slots left, that was gonna be hard to come by. We did have a few upgrades though. We'll upgrade that 1988 Denver, as well as the 1987 Denver, and the 1985 Philadelphia. We'll also be upgrading the 1978 Philadelphia, the 1956 Philadelphia, the 1954 Denver, the 1946 Philly, and my favorite upgrade of them all is gonna be that 1938. That made a hell of a difference, and I'll take that one for sure. Now this was a pretty good two box hunt. I really enjoyed doing that. At some point in the future, I'll probably do round two. But either way, had a fun time. We've also got two more silvers to add to my silver tube for the year. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.